second part to the video, I'm back away from the truck because man, this diesel's loud. I'm gonna crack that cap over there. You see a little gas. It's a cold start. The diesel's only been running for a couple of minutes. Um, it's absolutely bone cold. I mean, it's it's just as cold as the bumper. Yeah, it's a, I haven't had a problem with the cell heating up at all. I think it's due to the fact that there's constantly a flow of air going over it. Even when it's idling, you can feel air being sucked in down here by the fan. The fan's just massive on this diesel. It's got to be, you know, two feet in diameter. It's huge. So I haven't had any kind of an overheat problem. I haven't had any kind of an excessive steam problem like I did on the bench. Uh, this cell made a lot of steam on the bench, which was fun to play with. It was a lot of, a lot of output. It was, it was very impressive. It looked great, anyways. But uh, we're gonna crack the top. You see a little bit of vapor coming out. I don't know if you can in the video or not. I saw it. I'm trying to get in the way here. But anyways, here's the output. This is from the other reservoir. It comes over here, and obviously you're not gonna see squirts because it's doing the squirting inside the reservoir. So if I put my finger over it, let that side pressure up, you can see the output of the uh, dry cell. It's not squirting out. So that's the output of the dry cell out of one, two. Put my finger back off it, you see it just calms right down. It's at uh, 34, 33 amps. So you know it's cold, that's the startup amperage. It should get about, well, I'm hoping it'll hit about 45 amps, maybe 50 when it's hot and running. But there it is, dry cell and a Super Duty. And we're not sure of the mileage yet because the customer has a chip in this truck and I'm gonna talk to him about putting it back to stock and so we can get some, uh, full tank runs. He uses his truck a lot. He burns through these tanks pretty quick. So I should have some results on the mileage for you to uh, I'll post on YouTube pretty soon. But right now, it's we have no idea what the mileage is. I know the power went up. It's a lot more fun to drive. And shoot, uh, one liter every 10 amps is what these uh, dry cells put out. It's a six by six dry cell, four neutral. And it's got four cells. I'm running it at 45, I'm trying to push it at 50 amps, so it should be getting five liters a minute into this uh, Ford Super Duty. And like I said, the cell's cold, and it's got some really good output. Look at that. There it is. So you gotta figure that that's double, because it's gonna be doing the other thing. It's gonna be doing the same thing on this one. It's gonna be spurting like that on this one. In fact, I gotta open it, we can take a look. There you go, see it's spurting. I see a little bit of gas coming out of it. Same thing over here. That's a good output. I'm, I'm so impressed with these dry cells. I'm serious YouTubers. You know, throw away the, um, the, uh, the PVC pipe, which I call the sewer pipe cells, just pitch them, man. You're not gonna get the efficiency out of one of those that you're gonna get out of one of these dry cells. And look where it's mounted, under the bumper, behind the license plate. The license plate goes there. And I got, you know, I could actually have just one reservoir. I did two because I wanted more water. I wanted more volume in the water. But I could have got away with that one reservoir. So literally, I could have had that dry cell, that reservoir, and that's it. Um, I mean, come on, what, you don't have to have five or six uh, sewer pipes running in series. This thing puts out one liter every 10 amps you put in it. Um, it's been proven on YouTube. This is a standard design, it's a six by six, four neutral, four cell. I didn't do anything weird to it other than what, like the EBN guys and Sid and Taro and these other people that have been um, messing with these cells and building them. It's a standard design. You can build it yourself. They're really easy to build. I've been building the wet cells for a long time, and I've abandoned the wet cells completely because I cannot get the volume of gas and the efficiency that I can out of that little bitty thing down there at the front of this diesel truck. It's the size of a book. 
So there you go, advanced hydrogen, and I'm really uh, impressed with these dry cells. I'll upload this video to YouTube pretty soon, and I'll get you some hard numbers on the mileage gains that this diesel truck is getting. Uh, 1990, excuse me, 2007 Super Duty with a 6.0 liter diesel. Bye.